video. This is just adding in an extra item. So I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to find that extra item that I wanted and I'm going to click and drag it into Photoshop. I do want this to be my top layer above literally everything else. I'm going to move it relatively into some place that I hope it might look okay at. Then I'm going to hit return. I can take the move tool if I want to and shimmy it a little further if need be, but I'm satisfied right there. Now, to take out the background, we've got a couple options. You may have learned from this from another project. Um, we can take the quick selection tool and I can try to hit select subject. Let's see if it does a good job or not. It did. Wonderful. I'm going to add a little bit extra to this just in case. So up here, there is a plus sign. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to select just a little bit more. Whoa, not that much. A little bit more of this image just to see what it can do. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom of my layer window and I'm going to apply a layer mask to the obelisk layer. Perfect. So we just got to move it into a better position here. We'll move it like I didn't really want it centered, but it is looking like that could be good. Some of this will be hidden by the sand dune, so I will place that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Oof. You can see all my prior edits are occurring each time I zoom in. This file is getting very large. So down here in the bottom right of your layer, where your layers are, make sure that you're on the layer mask. I'm going to take B for brush. I actually want to bump my opacity up a good bit. So if you look here, I'm at 79. I'm just going to go in and erase parts to try to blend it into this or figure out where this sand dune actually is. Decrease my brush size. It looks like the sand dune is right there. So now I can bump it back up to 100 and bring the obelisk back. Crop the side, trim it up. This little thing can get out of here. And we have our top like laser beam craziness. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. We'll see. I'll try to keep it if it looks cool. And I'm just going to go in and erase. A little bit of it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take the opacity down to like 20. And just go over it just to decrease its opacity a bit. zoom out with command minus and you'll see that the color is a little off right so we're going to go back to image adjustments and we're immediately going to go to brightness contrast I think we want to up the brightness and dim the contrast yeah definitely dim the contrast And then image adjustments, color balance, turn up the reds and the yellow. Oh, wow, look, I got that. That fits perfectly. All right. If you want to take this one step further, the shadows are going to the left. You want to watch some true crazy stuff. We can duplicate this layer. We have a shadow for our obelisk. Perfect. Optional video. Quick detail, hopefully. Next time, text. We're almost done.